The Brandon Valley Marching Links are getting ready for a Christmas to remember. Members of the band are shuffling around their holiday plans because they'll be boarding buses for Florida on Christmas night. In tonight's Eye on Colorland, Matt Holson shows you why they've been practicing hard for a special performance in Orlando. These harmonizing high schoolers are getting in plenty of rehearsal time with a trip to the Camping World Bowl football game on the line. The cold and me don't get along. So I am really excited to like go down to Florida and just like where it's a lot warmer for a couple days. It'll be nice. Senior Shelby Frey plays clarinet. She says a break from school sounds great and so will their performance. 118 members of the Brandon Valley Marching Lynx will take the field with several other schools at halftime. The football game on December 28th features Notre Dame and Iowa State. Just the sound that 800 people will have, and then we have really good music, so I think it'll come off really well. We're leaving Christmas night and get to be there for about six days and come back New Year's Eve. Let's do letter G. Band director to Tyler Nedestad says the roughly 24 hour bus ride will be worth it. He and the kids have been relentlessly working on the mashup of songs they'll play at Camping World Stadium. I think there's about 15 other bands there, and they'll pull, put us all in the field. We'll get to rehearse together, and so. Um, There'll be a lot of kids out in that field, you know, the biggest marching band you've probably ever seen. It will be a fun reward for all their hard work, and bassoon and saxophone player Landon Smith plans on taking full advantage. It's going to be nice to get out of the South Dakota weather, hopefully get a tan. Um. <laughs> While he plans on doing his best, Smith says being in the band is a welcome distraction from life struggles. And it's really relaxing, I guess, to come in here and play <laughs> during, like, stressful time in my life, I guess. From tough courses to applying for college scholarships, high school can be daunting. Like, I'm in a lot of, like, college classes this year, so it's, it's really stressful and that sort of thing. And it's nice to be able to, like, come in here and be in a positive environment where you can just play music. Their director agrees. Nedestad actually went to Brandon Valley himself and played trumpet in the band in the same room. He's been back in town in his current job for two years. Definitely one of the best experiences of my high school career to be in the band here. So I just loved band and um, that's why I'm back here again. Being able to offer kids a musical outlet is hard to beat. And this group plans to arrive to a lot of fanfare when they take the field in Orlando. It'll be big and loud and fun. After all, this type of performance is their forte. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Matt Holson. Sounding good. Enjoy Florida. On top of performing during the game, the kids will get to make trips to Cocoa Beach and Universal Orlando. Uh, Orlando. The uh, Brandon Valley Marching Links take one big trip like this every four years. Exciting Christmas, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure.